Hey everybody, coming to you today to talk to you about meal planning. Um, so yesterday I gave you a little bit of short tutorial on the, um, the portion control containers, kind of how they work, how you should use them, how you can utilize them during your meal planning phase. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about different ways to meal prep. Now I have done, I have not edited yet, but a short video, actually it's a really long video on how I go through and do my meal planning every week. But frankly, I might not like to eat the same things that you eat. And I might not like to do my meal planning in my week the same way that's going to work for you and your family. So I wanted to talk to you today about a couple different strategies you can use when you're setting up your meal plan and when you're just beginning in meal planning and meal prep. Um, so the first thing we are going to talk about is the two meal prep tools I'm going to be giving you. You're going to be getting a weekly chart so you can plan out every day during the week your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and then you have a tally marks down here at the bottom to check off which food groups you've eaten um, or which ones you've planned for. And then you also have the tally sheet. So these are two different days. Um, so this is just a sheet showing two different days that you can plan for. Again, going through every single meal, what food groups you're going to be eating during that meal, and then just the total um, containers you've used during the day. So as we mentioned before, no matter what program you're using, um, we you will each get basically a nutrition guide for it that will show how many containers you get for each different calorie group. Um, like every program, you get a different book, you get a different kind of meal plan guide, but they're all basically the same. And I'll be taking you through step by step on how to calculate your calories and which bracket you'll fall into for this challenge group um, in a separate post. But so today I'm just talking about actually how you do your meal prep. So there's a few ways people like to do them. Um, the first way is an easy way for a lot of people, but it may, may or may not be easier for you as a beginner. And it's considered the buffet style. Um, so you be taking and prepping a lot of general ingredients during your prep prep uh, prep evening. I do it in the evening. might be the day for you. Um, so if you want for your day and for what you've planned, grilled chicken or ground turkey, you prep a ton of ground chicken, ground turkey, and then you utilize that in different meals. You take a serving as you need it um, to make into a burrito, to make in, you know, scramble with eggs, to make a Southwest egg scramble, um, to mix in with some tomato sauce and put over pasta to... Um, to make into tacos. You, you kind of pre-prep those ingredients and kind of use them as you go. You bake a big batch of acorn squash and then you kind of take the vegetable serving as you go along. Um, that doesn't work for me personally to some extent. I actually usually do do a big batch prep of grilled chicken um, for me and my family to utilize to make my kids um, and my husband chicken burritos um, to put on top of my chicken salad. So I, I use that, but the rest of it, I, I pretty much make each meal just because I'll lose track otherwise. Um, but that works, that system works for a lot of people. So buffet style, you kind of pre-prep ingredients. So I'm going to have for my meals, for my proteins this week, I'm going to have chicken and turkey and salmon. So I'm going to prep a big thing of salmon, a bunch of turkey breasts, and maybe, um, a package of ground turkey. And those will be the proteins I choose from and utilize in all the recipes um, for the week. Um, another way is a lot of people do a pick two. So they do that. They do two of these, basically. Um, you have one day, two days, and this is what they're going to rotate through every day of the week. So they don't have to plan seven whole days. They're actually only planning two days and then rotating every other day. So one day for, every, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, they're having one breakfast. The other Tuesday, Thursday, see how bright much my brain works, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, they're making the second breakfast and so on and so forth throughout the week. Um, that's a great way to start out, especially if planning and doing them, um, balancing the, the containers and balancing your macros 
becomes difficult for you, doing that every other day um, or ha first half of the week, second half of the week, only planning those two days can be a great way to start out. It can get very repetitive and it might drive your family crazy if they're having to eat the same dinner every other week. But if you're just starting out, this can be an excellent, excellent tool for you um, with that pick two method. I do a very boring method, which is um, I don't like variety, but I do like variety. So I will pick a different breakfast every week, but I pretty much have that same breakfast throughout the whole week. Um, so that way I don't have to have to put prep more than one breakfast. So if I'm having baked egg, little mini omelets and spinach, I'll do that every day during the week. Um, same thing with my lunches. Um, I usually have one lunch that I'll share with my kids and we'll do that for the week. Lunch sometimes will become two or three lunches just because um, we run out of ingredients or whatever was on sale at the grocery store. And then for dinner, we do a different dinner every night. And that's where I could have two or, two or three different lunches. If there's leftover dinner, I get, I'm able to make additional dinner portions, I'll take one of those dinner portions and use it for lunch the next day. Um, similarly, a lot of people like to have, they have their work week lunches and breakfasts and dinners, and they have very minimal prep, very low prep um, time. So quick, you know, overnight oats in the morning. So there's no prep to do in the morning. You know, everything is ready to go for them. Um, a travel easy lunch and then a dinner maybe pre-prepped maybe not but just quick and easy and then on the weekend they like to have a little bit more variety they like to have a new breakfast or a hot breakfast um every single morning same thing goes with snacks some people like to switch off their snacks and rotate through two or three snacks some people especially snacks are tend to be those things that we forget and kind of get pushed to the side and don't think much about and the snacking tends to be everyone's biggest issue it's not in those big meals they have big healthy meals but the snacks those in between snacks those string cheeses that you should be grabbing the greek yogurt that you should be grabbing the piece of fruit you should be grabbing it turns into chips and brownies and cookies and candy um, and french fries things like that so what i would really like you to do is one plan and then when you do get hungry, look at your plan. Reference back to it. Don't go, I'm hungry, what do I eat? Pull out your menu and look, what do I eat when I get hungry? Oh, I'm going to eat celery with peanut butter. Fantastic. Um, and then we're going to be going through during... The challenge group, more time-saving tips, but just briefly, some of the time-saving tips I have for you for meal prep. Um, think about when you're actually going into your meal prep night. I like doing it all on one night, so I'm spending two or three hours one night a week. Usually, it'll be a night that I'm not working out, so it'll be a rest night, so I kind of would say, oh, I'm taking that extra one hour that I would be working out to prep my food because abs are made in the kitchen, right? Um, doesn't matter how hard you work out. If you are eating more calories than you are burning, you're not going to lose weight. Um, so put on some music, make it fun. As much as we talk about how to get you motivated to do a workout, I want to get you motivated to get into the kitchen, plan and prep your food so that you can have a successful week. So all that hard work you did while you were working out doesn't go to waste. So put on some music, get comfortable, do it on a night that um, you're either cooking an easy dinner, you're using some leftovers, and you don't have to work out. Think about what is going to take the longest to cook. So if I'm roasting potatoes or baking chicken or putting some chicken on the grill, I'm probably going to do those things first while I do prep my other materials. So I will. the first thing I'm going to do is stick potatoes in the oven. Um, or I'm going to slice up my acorn squash, spaghetti squash, and put that into the oven to roast while I do everything else. For meats, so like chicken, I usually buy a bulk package of chicken. And even if I don't cook it all that night, even if I'm not going to throw it all in the grill or throw it all in the oven to cook, I will prepare it. So if I, I will slice it thin, I'll trim it all up. If I need some chicken diced, I'll dice it. If I'm going to put some chicken in a marinade, because like I said, I like having a different dinner every single night. So some chicken I'm going to be putting in a marinade to marinate so that um, come Tuesday night when I'm cooking um, whatever Cajun stir fry, I can just pull out the Cajun chicken that's already seasoned, already marinated and just dump it in the pan. Um, if there's anything going in the crock pot, I'll get the crock pot started. 
And then while those things are baking, that's when I'll do things like wash off my spinach, put it in a Ziploc bag. I actually wrap my spinach in paper towel um, and I kind of pick through the bag. So even if I get those pre-washed bags, I'll pick through it to see if there's any leaves that are kind of starting to wilt because that'll make the whole bag go bad. So take it out, wrap it in paper towel and put it in a Ziploc bag. It'll stay fresh so much longer. You'll get like an extra week out of it. Um... If I'm having broccoli, broccoli tends to be one of my kids and husband's favorite vegetables. So we have a lot of broccoli in this house. So I'll pre-cut and pre-wash all my broccoli. So that way, during the week when I am exhausted and need to cook dinner, I can just pull out a serving of broccoli, put it in the steamer, and steam it. A lot of people like to pre-steam their broccoli. Again, just that, that night, it's not that big a deal for me to put it in the steamer um, every night during the week. And it makes my family happier that they're having fresh steamed broccoli as opposed to leftover steamed broccoli. So whatever. Um, so pre-trim your meat, pre-cut that, um, pre-cook. I always like breakfast is tends to be one of those things that I will, if, if there's any opportunity to skip it, I will skip it. So I have to pre-cook my breakfast, whether that's, um, preparing overnight oats, um, should be in your recipes and files section is an amazing, amazing thing to my girls love, especially on preschool mornings, um, that they can just pull out of the fridge and mix up and eat themselves. Um, and make sure you have, so you want to cut off all your fruits. So I'm going to be having apples, um, and apple slices. I'm going to pre-slice up all my apples, pre-bag them. So that way when I'm hungry and needing a purple snack, I can just grab the per, you know, a bag of fruit. Um, and just kind of make that plan, make, get, get everything ready. Um, even if you don't fully prepare a meal, um, and, you know, portion out. So you just have this little Tupperware container that you're going to take to work. And if you are going to be taking them or get them ready. Um, but you want to pre cook or um, pre cut up all those ingredients. And that can be a great way to prep along with, um, just, making the full meal is just prepping the ingredients, chopping the onion, chopping the, the broccoli. Um, and I think those are my biggest steps. Oh, bulk, not only bulk buy, that will save you money, but bulk cook things like rice. Rice freezes really well. So you can take your rice, you can make a big pot because brown rice takes 50 minutes to cook. Holy cow. That I a lot of times don't have time for, or I forget about. Um, but you can take your rice, pre-cook it, and then take your, take your yellow container, scoop out a yellow container of rice, make sure it closes, and then dump that into a plastic baggie and squish it flat and stick it in the freezer. It's being flat like that. It's going to store really well, save your room in your freezer, but then it's also going to de defrost really quickly under hot water. I mean, like within five minutes, it'll be completely defrosted. Pop it in the microwave with like a teaspoon of water for a minute. Perfect. Um, also just bulk cook and put those portions, put extra portions in the freezer for later. So you have frozen meals ready to go. So those are my tips for meal prep and meal planning. Hope you enjoyed and hope you get something out of it.